Hey everyone, Dr. Mary here. For today's adventure, we're going to Missouri, specifically St. Charles, Missouri. At the entrance to Blanchette Park is a statue of Louis Blanchette. Who was this man who has both a park and a statue? One source claims Louis Blanchette was born into a rich family in France and came to make his way in the Americas. Another source indicates he was born in Canada. In any case, Louis Blanchet was a chasseur, a hunter or trapper. He liked what he saw along the Missouri River and decided to establish a home there. Five years before, in 1764, Blanchet had met up with another Frenchman, a man named Bernard Guillet. Guillet was an interesting person with a colorful history. He had married the daughter of a Dakota chief, and when the old chief died, he took his place. As it turns out, Guillet had lived just north of the place Blanchette had in mind. Blanchette asked Guillet if he had a name for the place where he had lived, and Guillet said he'd called it Le Petit Cote. We now translate it as the Little Hills, but it literally means the Little Ribs. As the story goes, Blanchette asked why Guillet named it that, and was told to look at the sides of the hills. That's what they look like. Whether this story is accurate, it does account for the name Blanchette would give the place we now call St. Charles. Louis Blanchette moved to the area in 1769 with his family and some friends and established a permanent settlement. There's a monument marking the site, which is the subject of a previous episode. Blanchette built a mill at the banks of the creek that bears his name even today, and later the Boonslick Road would have its start at the creek tracing its way along its banks up into the hills. Seven years previously, in 1762, Spain had gained control of what is now the Louisiana Purchase Territory. Blanchette settled with permission of the Spanish and served as commandant for Spain until his death. In 1791, a log church was built about four city blocks from the Blanchette home. The settlers named the church San Carlos Borromeo, after the patron saint of the Spanish ruler at the time, Charles IV. In time, the settlement would become known as San Carlos de la Rio Missouri, or St. Charles of the Missouri River. The name would later be shortened and anglicized to the St. Charles of today. In 1793, Blanchette died. He was in his early 50s. Let's see what his memorial has to say. The Cemetery of St. Charles Borromeo Church is west of Blanchette Park. Intriguingly, the memorial marker for Louis Blanchette is just on the other side of the site marked as the resting place of the founder of another place, Juan Baptiste Point de Sable, who was the first settler of the city we know as Chicago. But that is another story. The marker for Louis Blanchette in the cemetery of St. Charles Borromeo reads, in memory of Louis Blanchette, Chasseur, founder of St. Charles, Missouri, 1769. Builder about 1776 of the first St. Charles Borromeo log church on Main and Jackson streets. In its shadows, both he and his Pawnee Indian wife were buried after their death late in 1793. According to tradition, they were removed in 1831 to the present Borromeo churchyard and in 1854 translated to this new Borromeo cemetery. In these hallowed grounds rest their remains and those of other pioneers of this city. This memorial erected by the grateful members of the St. Charles Borromeo Parish, A.D. 1938. This parish continues today. It sounds like Blanchette and his wife died about the same time. I could find no report of the cause of death, but whether by tainted food, bad water, mosquitoes carrying yellow fever, or other contagious diseases such as smallpox, it wasn't that uncommon for more than one member of a family to die from the same cause at about the same time. There was a yellow fever epidemic in the East in 1793, and although folks did get around in those days, it doesn't necessarily mean that Le Petit Cote had an epidemic too. The log church building near the southwest corner of Main and Jackson Streets is a reconstruction, the church site is worth a closer look, so perhaps we'll come back at a later date. The influence of Louis Blanchet continues to be felt in this place of St. Charles. In 2022, the Festival of the Little Hills will be held August 19th through the 21st. 
Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, stay safe and travel well.